There's too much opportunity for somebody that can use technical analysis. And I've been studying it for years and now it's time to get paid. You work so hard and then things come to fruition. That's how this world works. You grind, you grind, you grind, and then things kind of start to pan out. But nothing happens if you don't want it. You have to make it happen. You have to go for it. I can help you do this. I figured out something that's absolutely amazing and I can trade any market, anytime, any, like anything. Tesla, 4X, the Dow Jones, S&P, you name it, we can trade it. To me, Velodrome's a little far away from the daily. Usually that tells me I got we got a chill pill, right? It blasted. That's what's crazy about it. Not only do I put out the charts, but like if you look at my, if you look at what I put out, like it, you, it never hit the stop loss. Like you would have got in there and that was it. Exact bottoms. Like I, I can find out where markets reverse. So we talked about it. We got into my at the 618, somewhere at about 24. And we're waiting for the next big pump. Look, kind of a shoulder, a head and a right shoulder, bit of a cup with a handle there above the 200 SMA. I look at my daily time frame and it's ready to rock. After retracing back down to the 618 Fibonacci golden pocket, the green box is the buy zone. I see Myro about to do a 2X from here. We got into Myro back at 2 cents. So you'd be holding at the, at one point, you, you, you made a 24X off this coin. Myro did numbers, man. I own Jasmine right now, seeing where it could go. Could have double top and make a further move down and then have to do falling wedges or something. It's a chance. We went through so much hell and high water together through this, this market. This market has pushed us and pulled us and banged us and slammed us. And if you've been through every day I've been through with Bitcoin for the last four years, really, man, you've been on a journey that will change your soul. We can be on our merry way out of a nice, beautiful ascending triangle to the upside. So we need to avoid that dump if we want to see Bitcoin continue. And so that's kind of the, that's the treachery for the next few days that we want, we would like to see not happen. How would you know? Well, the first thing that's going to happen is a candle will close below this seven minute 200 SMA, that yellow line, and then open up a short with a stop here. If it's a fake out, you don't lose anything. And then if it does dump, you, you get paid. And that's why I love using the 200 as my entries and exits. And it's just an amazing way to trade. But anyway, and you know why I don't get scared? Because I got my 200. As long as I stay above a 200, I'm a good to go. And so look, here was the call too. Right there, the bounce. And right here when we broke above the 200, that's a goal, that's a goal, that's a goal. Three scalps in a row. I sit on the one minute and just pay myself all day long. I teach you guys how to do it. You guys watch me. It's an ATM and I can trade any market anywhere in the world at any time. And I can show you, but you'd have to show, show up every day and get the business. And I'll give you the business if you want it, baby. Let's go. I'll show you the sauce. I'll show you exactly how we do it in the charts every single day. Let's take a look at Bitcoin USDT here on Binance. And I talked about a breakout out of the little flag this morning on the seven minute. I said, it doesn't look amazing, but could we get a breakout on the seven minute time frame? I drew you this little flag. I told you that the target was 71,266. That's exactly where we went. How many times did I got to do it for you? How many times? So I got to spoon feed Bitcoin. Nah, I love doing it. I'll do it every single day. I can't stop. I'm addicted to giving you the call. I'm addicted to finding out where it's going. I'm addicted to being accurate. Let's take a look here at BTC, making the move out of that seven minute flag. And that's why I love my seven minute. Look at that thing booming to the upside. What a nice blast. We just broke through the high two to the upside. The seven minute had low stochastics curving to the upside. Told us this may just be a, a quick squeeze today. They may come right back down. That's a nice breakout to the upside. We expected it out of the ascending triangle. We got very tight. A move was coming. When you get that tight inside of two trends, a move is coming. And when you got low stokes pointing to the upside, it gives you kind of what's likely going to happen with the move. I see lackluster, likely if we even hit this, something like this, and I see it's just going sideways inside of the zone throughout the night, but any anything could happen, right? The smaller time frames look really good, and as long as that four hour plays out, we're going to 88,000, and I'm just, but I just gotta let you know, if, if we do tend to break down, if we lose the one hour at 200 SMA, if we lose the four hour, this is kind of where we're going to, this is where it's going to pull us. As long as the four hour doesn't break 61,500, we're good to go, because there's your low, there's your high, there's your higher low. You're going to put it in a higher high. It's a beautiful uptrend right now on the four hour time frame. I would only be bearish if the four hour came all the way down and broke this high. Made this to be somewhat of an M and we broke this. Then you would experience a lower, a lower low, a lower high and a lower low. And we may be in for some type of strange channeling downtrend here. See, I'm open minded to that. I could see it happen before. See, I'm a projectionist. So all I need is a piece of price action to project a lot. And I can project 10 things.